don't just study room. That chair, it's probably made of wood or plastic. The table lamp could be metal or even cloth covered. Your laptop or phone, a part of it is definitely metallic. And your pencil stand, could be anything, metal, plastic. Your desk is probably made of wood. All these things are made of different materials. But why? Why don't we just make everything out of the same stuff? Why not make pencils out of iron? I mean, you could, but wouldn't it be too heavy to write with it? Or imagine cooking in a pan made of wood. Well, sure, if you are aiming for burnt chicken instead of butter chicken. So bottom line, we need different materials for different things. But the real question is why? And the answer lies in what each material can or cannot do. That is their properties. Today, we'll zoom on into two big material groups, metals and non-metals, and explore what makes them perfect for the jobs that they do. And to figure that out, we'll take up some common material properties one by one and see how metals and non-metals stack up. First up, luster. Luster means shine. Pick up a steel spoon or a coin. Look at how they sparkle. That shine is the metallic luster. Now look at the graphite tip of your pencil. It's dusty and dull. And so are most non-metals. Bottom line, metals such as copper, aluminium, gold, silver, they are usually lustrous as they reflect light. And non-metals such as sulfur and coal tend to be dull and dusty as they don't reflect light. And that's why we make jewellery out of gold and not charcoal. Next, let's talk about malleability. Malleability is a property that allows materials to be flattened without breaking. Turns out metals are malleable. And that's why you can make aluminium foils out of aluminium. They can also have silver and gold foils. Ever seen those shiny sweets with slivers of silver? That's real silver, by the way, beaten into super thin foils. But take something like coal or sulfur. A gentle tap with a hammer is enough to shatter them into pieces. And this happens because unlike metals, non-metals are brittle. Moving on, let's talk about ductility. Ductility is the property that helps materials stretch into something long and thin, like a wire or a chain. And it turns out metals are ductile too. And that's why copper can be made into wires. Ropes can be made of steel, which can then be used in cranes and bridges. And gold and silver can be made into chains. And here's another cool fact. One gram of gold can be stretched into a chain that's two kilometers long. Imagine wearing that as a necklace. You would need a second person just to hold the other end. Non-metals, on the other hand, are not ductile. Try making wires out of coal. At best, you will end up with some chunks to add a smoky flavor to your paneer tikka. Moving on, let's talk about how these materials conduct heat. You can try this. Place a metal spoon and a wooden spoon into hot water. A minute later, you can touch both the handles. The metal spoon, it's hot. But the wooden spoon, it's still cold. That's because metals conduct heat. They let heat travel through them quickly. Wood, on the other hand, does not let heat pass. And this is why cookwares have metal at the bottom. This helps the food heat up and get cooked quickly. But the wooden handle or the plastic handle prevents us from getting hurt as we touch these cookwares. So all in all, metals are good conductors of heat. Whereas wood or plastic, they are poor conductors of heat. Finally, let's look into how these materials conduct electricity. 
Remember how we had said copper can be made into wires because it's ductile? Wait, there's another reason too. It's because copper can conduct electricity. Metals like copper and aluminium let electricity flow through them and hence they are good conductors of electricity. Non-metals like plastic and rubber on the other hand are poor conductors of electricity. That's why wires, although made of copper, are covered in plastic. This prevents us from getting an electric shock even if we touch an electric wire accidentally. So all in all, metals are good conductors of electricity while non-metals are poor conductors. Now that we have learned about how different properties look on metals and non-metals, it's time for a quick summary. Metals are lustrous, they are malleable, ductile, sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity. Non-metals, on the other hand, they are dull, brittle, non-ductile, non-sonorous and poor conductors of heat and electricity. 